This video demonstrates how to install WordPress on your local machine by using only the command line. To follow along, you'll need MAMP and Homebrew already installed and some basic command line skills. To get started, you'll need the WordPress command line interface. Run brew install wp-cli. If you don't have Homebrew's PHP tab already installed, it will prompt you to use the suggested command. So copy the install command. And for your info, you can list the available tabs you already have by running brew tab. Paste the install command and it will first clone the PHP repository and then install WPCLI. If you run brew tab again, you'll see that homebrew's PHP tab is now available. Run the command WP to verify that the WordPress command line interface is working correctly. The next step is to download WordPress in a folder within your web server's document root. You can find the path by going to MAMS Preferences and clicking on the web server tab. Create a new folder in your document root and simply run WP Core Download. This will download the WordPress files in the current directory. You can list the files to verify that they are all there. MAMPS Apache has to be configured to include the vhost file. If this sounds new to you, click on the top right link for more information. Make sure MAMPS servers are off. You'll have to configure two files for this to work. I've created an alias to open both files at once just to save some time. In the host file, add your project's local server name. Save the file. And in MAMPS vhost configuration file, add the document root and the server name. Save the file. Turn on MAMPS servers. Creating a database is very easy. Make sure you are using MAMPS MySQL. Type which MySQL. Log into MySQL using the username root and password root. Run create database and the database name. I'll add an extra argument so the collation is UTF-8 general CI. Don't forget the semicolon at the end. Running Show Databases will display all your databases and the one you just created. Type Exit. WordPress connects to the database with a configuration file. To create this file, run WP Core Config with DB name test in this case and the db user of root and password of root. A message will inform you that the file was successfully generated. With the database configuration out of the way, it's now time to install WordPress. This is easily done with the command wp core install. The command is designed with five parameters. So let's satisfy the requirements by adding our arguments. After that, WordPress installs, and we can visit the local site by entering our server name in the URL. And we can log in with the credentials we added in the previous step. This video demonstrated how to install WordPress quickly through the command line. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.